down in black pears. I am on my back patio. Um, I'm sitting on a, a Lowe's bucket because everything after five days of rain is so soggy and so wet. Um, and I've been perched here um, trying to get footage of the hummingbird that at least one, I hear him come zooming by and just as I'm grabbing my camera to film him, off he goes. Um, so it is an exercise in patience um, or mindfulness, if you will. But I am trying so very hard to get some footage of my hummingbird. Um, the mama bird, I'm watching her, she is so attentive to her babies. But I'm going to get a little footage uh, if I can. Um, and then there was a little follow-up I wanted to do on the May apples. All right, thanks. So I'm up on my deck. Um, and the bird's nest is just over that way. And I thought I would talk a little here so when I'm filming I can just film and then get away because I really don't want to upset the mama bird. Um, here's my green ladder. I uh, went looking for it. Wasn't where it was supposed to be because Val didn't put it back where it lived. So note to us all, it's so important that when we borrow something that we take really awesome care of it and then we go the extra mile and make sure we put it back where it belongs. I'm going to talk to Sal about that later. See how calm I'm staying? I'm so present in touch with my five senses right now. Wow, we have had so much rain uh, over the last five days. Um, this is my favorite. When our little creek kind of fills to bursting um, and gets rushy and there's all these wonderful little waterfalls um, and that sound really one of Ms. Jen's favorites. So guys you can see how green everything is but what's so interesting about this later part of spring is that for all the green it's really not um, the May apples anymore. As the May apples begin their decline they really kind of yellow, um, they collapse, um, the bloom is long gone, and I can't say that I ever saw the fruit, but maybe an animal gets that. And all the green you're seeing now, it's not the May apples, but it's the fern. Um, on this side, there's tons of um, running cedar um, and mountain laurel. Those last little bits of color over there, though, that's the mountain laurel with its little burst of bloom which will fade shortly. So as suddenly as the May apples appear, uh, this year what was in late March, now by late May you see that most of them are, are yellowed um, and they're very much covered and tangled in more green of the woods um, and it's really hard to even to even notice them in a way that you could when when that was really the they were somewhat of a harbinger of spring like the robin uh, can be all right bears i'm gonna wrap this up but i couldn't resist being posed next to some mountain laurel and the last of the blooms here in the woods in Schuyler, Virginia. Um, please know that Ms. Jen will do her best to get some video of the hummingbirds. Um, there's, it, it's just too incredible to not witness them, especially when they fly from feeder to feeder and then they zoom off to a tree and then they come back for more. Um, that little bit of video I got um, of the bird's nest, that's the four birds. Um, it's kind of like a gray mound and they're getting bigger and they're right up close to the top of the nest um, and you can see like one little bit of some yellow beak um, but they they weren't trying to be fed so they were sleeping and they weren't making their little their little peeping chirp sound but I will see if I can get a little bit of video of them ch chirping I, I don't think I would get on my ladder if they're awake um, have a fabulous three-day weekend and we will we will see you on Tuesday.